of those places feeling the surge in Terra Norfolk General Hospital, and that is where we find News 3 reporter Chelsea Donovan. And Chelsea, what are they telling you about the concerns that they have? Yeah, Curtin Aaron, since the week of Christmas up until today, the folks here at Centera Norfolk General Hospital say they have been strapped with sick COVID-19 patients, and that's across all of their locations on the south side. And the same holds true for another major hospital system up on the peninsula. I would say it's more than it's ever been. The manager of the emergency room at Centera Norfolk General Hospital setting the scene of what it's like inside the ER walls, slammed and shattering records. Historically speaking, the Mondays after holidays are huge for the emergency departments, but this past Monday was special because we actually broke the record that we've seen um, in this ED as well as other emergency departments. According to the Centera COVID-19 dashboard, 143 people are hospitalized with the virus across the six south side hospitals, not including those being seen daily in the ER. Wait times are increasing as well. Our wait times have increased probably in the past couple of weeks because of our volume. On the peninsula at the Riverside Health System, those emergency rooms are seeing much of the same. Two and a half weeks ago, we had about 20, 25 patients in the health system with COVID. Now we're approaching 75 patients hospitalized with, with COVID, and many of those are still in intensive care units. Tests to even confirm a positive case, a new concern. We're concerned that the, the testing supplies become even in shorter, um, shorter availability in the coming weeks. 75% of those being admitted to Riverside are unvaccinated, says President and CEO uh, Dr. Michael Dacey. We're asking that people save the emergency medicine capability of the region for people that really, uh, really will benefit the most from it. And the, those are immunocompromised. Both hospitals advice head to the ER if your symptoms are severe or if you have pre-existing conditions or are immunocompromised. Otherwise, treat yourself at home and quarantine if your symptoms are mild. If you feel like you can manage this at home with Tylenol or Motrin, try that first if you possibly can. Now, another message Sentara wants to get out to the public tonight. If you're coming to the ER simply just for a COVID test, please don't. Basically, they're saying that further inundates the system. Go to a testing center, test at home, or head to your primary care physician. We're live in Norfolk tonight. Chelsea Donovan, News 3.